Interstellar Extinction and Reddening. Here what we are looking at is the effect of the interstellar medium on the light from stars. And so there's a variety of things that happen when that light travels through the gas and dust that make up the interstellar medium. The dust does two things to the light. One thing that dust does is it absorbs some of the light. So that's represented here with red light going in it still comes out as red, but notice the bumps are not as tall, so that's going to make the light fainter. So the height of our wave is an indicator of brightness, and so the fact that it is not as tall as it was initially tells us it is not as bright as it was initially. The other thing that dust grains can do is they can scatter the light. And that's what's shown here with our blue light. So the blue light's coming in, hits the dust grain. Well, some of it gets bounced off in different directions, and that's called scattering which is going to have two effects. That's going to change the brightness and the color. Because you're losing some of the wavelengths of light, so that changes the color that we see. So reddening has to do with that scattering effect. Because what's going to get scattered are the short wavelengths. So here we see a blue star and its light is traveling towards our observer. So the first thing to get scattered out is going to be the blue light. So we're going to lose the blue light. Well of course stars give off pretty much all wavelengths of light, so there's still other colors in there. But the farther it travels through, the more colors it's going to lose. So here we see it losing green light. Um, I don't really have yellow, but I have kind of an orange color here, so it loses that. And so in this particular case, the only thing that actually makes it out is the red light. This is exactly the same reason why sunsets are red. Because you're looking through a lot of our atmosphere, and so the same thing is happening. Our atmosphere is scattering all these other colors out, and all we're left with is the red light coming towards us. It is also why the sky is blue. because blue is going to be the first thing to get scattered. And when it gets scattered, that just means we've got blue light coming in all directions from all places. And so it's not coming from one source, it's coming from every source everywhere in the sky. And so that gives us a blue sky. So scattering is uh, why we have red sunsets and why we have a blue sky. So here we're looking at the effect on color. We're losing the short wavelengths and left with the longer wavelengths. And of course longer wavelengths are associated with cooler temperatures. So it makes us think an object is cooler than it actually is.
So that's one effect of the interstellar medium. The other is extinction. And so here, what we're looking at is a combination of absorption and scattering. Because we've got the light, uh, some of it loses intensity, some of it gets bounced off in other directions, but the end result is what ends up coming towards us is less than what we started with. We're going to lose light. And so the result is it's going to look fainter. Which is going to make us think it's farther away. So both of these effects uh, have repercussions when it comes to measuring stars. We're looking at effects that make us think a star is a different spectral type because it's looking cooler. Now we can uh, determine for sure the spectral type by actually taking the spectrum and where the absorption lines are, we can definitively determine that. But if we're just, you know, doing a quick glance at a star, uh, the reddening is going to make us think it's a cooler star than it really is. And the extinction is going to make things look much fainter than they should be. And so if we're using the buddy equation, uh, we're going to get the wrong value for the apparent magnitude. Because apparent magnitude is just what it looks like in the sky. And we don't have a way of correcting that for interstellar extinction. So we're going to have trouble measuring distances if there's a lot of interstellar medium between us and the object we're looking at. But being aware of these effects means that we can make uh, corrections for it when doing observations. But all of that gas and dust out there definitely does affect our view of the stars.